Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino. We're looking at a beer that uh, cost $22 for a 15 pack. So it was $22 plus $3 in GST plus $6 in liquor tax plus a dispensing fee, which I was a dollar fifty, which I think might have been the deposit. Uh, so all in all, it was about two dollars a can, which is a lot better than some of the beers you can get in Regina. This is Bronk beer, Bronk beer. Saddle up, boys and girls, saddle up, Bronk beer. Saddle up. Five percent alcohol by volume. And this is brewed in Calgary, Alberta at Last Spike Brewing Company. Now, it's a crown crown can. I do not know if Dan will end up seeing this, but if Dan does see this, I'm sure he'll tell me if, if Last Spike is actually a craft brewery or if it's owned by one of the big guys or if it's a regional. Because I don't know anything about Last Spike. I know... The regular Bronk is on sale for $22, and if you go for the Bronk Copper Ale, and I guess I guess Copper Ales are big in, in the prairies and Alberta, because I've not really seen a lot of Copper Ales outside of the prairies, uh, but I mean, I can get the original 16 from Great Western, and I can get Bronx Copper, but Bronx Copper is $40 for the 15 pack, where Bronk is it must be just entering the Saskatchewan market because there was a huge display of this on sale at $22. Plus there was sweaters and there was glassware and there was this, there was that. And I was like, well, all my work money goes to bills. It's a good thing I have a little bit of YouTube's money. So uh, this was one of the things I picked up. Okay, so let's put them both here while we talk about that, right? Head has a little bit of retention, but it is fading rather quickly. It's bright white. It has huge snap, crackle, pop. I can hear it from where I'm sitting. Wow, that is, that's pretty loud. Let's, uh, which phone am I on? I don't know if you guys heard it at all. Crystal clear. I can see the camera. I can see my shirt in the camera. Uh, golden colored. Looks looks like a beer, right? It's exactly what you'd expect from a beer. It's a beer, man. It's a be Saddle up, man. Saddle up. <sighs> Brewed out west. Excuse me. Hmm. Okay, out of the can, slight bit of sweetness, a slight bit of earthiness, a slight bit of tinniness, and just a little tiny touch of cut grass. It, it would be like a macro pilsner or an American adjunct lager is where I would, I would look at this as, just off the nose. Off of the nose on you know, out of the glass. Pretty much the same. A little bit of cut grass, tiny touch of, of tinniness, tiny touch of sweetness. Like neutral cereal grain type of sweetness. Cheers, let's try it. Really excited. Um it's picked up about three hours ago, three hours ago, so it's been sitting in the basement for three hours. Uh, this was not, no, I did grab this one out of the cooler because I was in the cooler when I grabbed it, uh, because I was looking at something else. I was looking at old Vienna going, I really want old Vienna, but if I make anything from the YouTube channel, I should really use it towards the YouTube channel. So I didn't pick up the old Vienna as much as I wanted it. 
And I picked up this. And when you can get 15 cans for basically the same price as four cans, it's it's slightly off-putting, to be honest. You're like, what the fuck am I getting if I can get four cans for $19.99 or I could get 15 cans for $20? What am I buying? <laughs> what am I buying? I mean, this is still a little more expensive than, say a Minhas product, and I mean, it's on sale, because normally it would be the same as the copper, it would be the $36.99, but uh, we're just, we're talking too much, let's, let's continue. Now, Chris is always on the search for that lager, that just plain Jane lager, with just a little bit of lager bite. I think I might have found it. It has a neutral... A neutral cereal grain sweetness that fades to a very tiny bit of wet cardboard, that almost oxidized flavor you get from like a Miller. That wet cardboard flows into a little bit of a biscuity, a biscuity finish that dries out rather quickly with just the tiniest touch of, of like a cut grass. Yeah, this is either a craft brewery that has done an amazing job at just making an American adjunct lager, or this is a crafty brewery that's either regional or owned by one of the big three, because this is, this is the quintessential American adjunct lager. It it has enough flavor that you know you're not drinking like a, a Molson or a Coors or a excuse me a Bud or a fucking Soul or a Corona or a Heineken. It has enough flavor you know you're not drinking those guys. But it's so subdued and dulled that you're drinking something made for the masses and kind of, when you buy a cheap a cheaper case of beer that's kind of what you want isn't it i mean even at two dollars and 25 cents a can which is what this would be at full 36 dollar price but then you you're paying your liquor taxes on top of that your gst on top of that and your deposit on top of that but even at $36 for a 15-pack, which would end up being about $43 for a 15-pack, you're getting more beer out of this than you are for some of the other stuff. And, I mean, that's, that's the one thing about private liquor sales, right? You can always find something on sale as long as you're willing to go back at night there's a co-op liquor store there's a costco liquor store there's a sobeys liquor store there's urban cellars where this was picked up and then there's at the breweries themselves and some of the breweries like district uh distributes other breweries goods as well which is which is great i mean you can do that in ontario but not everybody does but i mean <sighs> i like this if i'm just looking right now if i was going into a a liquor sale place, a, a, a purveyor of liquor in Saskatchewan. And I was just looking for a beer to drink at the house. This 15 pack would, would do me in. I mean, ooh, wait, let's, let's do the math, right? Okay. So a 15 pack of this is $20 right now. An 80 pack of Minhas products is $113. So, and that $113 still needs the liquor tax, the GST, and the deposit. So you're looking at $121, you're probably looking at about $140 for, for an 80 pack. I can get a 75 pack of this for $100. 
And then when we add all the taxes, you know what? I, I save $5. I, I, I would save about $15 to get five less beers. I would pick this over an 80 pack of Minhaus any day. I would go and buy five cases of this for $100 plus tax plus deposit and all that before I bought the Minhaus 80 pack any day of the week. Doesn't matter which Minhaus product it is, this is better than all of them. And I mean, that's, I don't know if that's good, if that's sad. I don't, I don't know where that sits, but I like this better than any of them. Out of 10 on this, that's getting a 725 out of 10. Thank you, YouTube. Bye-bye.